The castle is all but ours, father. Only the commander, Cao Ren, remains. Terrible news. The Wu army has invaded our territory. Gong An and Zhang Ling have already fallen. No. Wu are our allies. Have they betrayed us? My lord, it's an emergency. The Wei army is amassing outside the castle. Their numbers are immense. The enemy numbers are far greater than we had imagined. Father, you must withdraw! Hey, what about you? I will stay here in the castle and keep the enemy occupied. Brother, you must keep our father safe. Uh, of course. Show him no mercy. We must break through my castle and to brother. You must stay alive, men. Us to do so. Surrender now and face death like a man. You would turn your back on honor for personal gain? That is unforgivable! I have great respect for you as a warrior, but you are an enemy of Wei. I do not need your respect or your flattery. Cross blades with me instead. Very well, Lord Guan Yu. Fine opponent. My lord, it's Lord Guan Ping. He's he's been killed. Our ally has fallen. I won't allow that to happen anymore. I finally get to fight with you, and now this. I must fight on to honor your name. <laughs> I'll put a stop to that. Now, close the exits to my castle. Oh, lend me the strength I need. You're out of luck, for you. I can see every flaw in your plan. Strength I need. Fight me now, for glory. You have more fight left in you than I thought, but it will take more than grit to get out of this. Come, Father. We must escape. My son, you must stay alive. Live and support your brother. What are you talking about? And give my lord and Jiang Fei a message for me. Tell them I'm sorry I broke my promise. <laughs> Farewell, my son. I have always been proud of you. Father! I can't.
can't afford to lose you, Lushu. Keep your head. Thank you, my lord. Wan Yu is yours to finish off. He is in my castle. I will see you. Though it may be the last thing I do. You wish to fight me with that frail body? I might have known. You'd see. You're right. I am suffering from an illness. Now that you know that, you'll know. I have absolutely nothing to lose. Your spirit remains strong. You deserve the honor of the absolute best I have to give. My lord! Why would you fight when you were clearly so ill? Jing province is ours at long last. And Lord Zhou Yu's dream is fulfilled. My lord. Your time begins now. Your talents must support the future of Wu. Although it nearly cost Lu Meng his life, Wu successfully managed to slay the god of war, Guan Yu. And by doing so, the majority of Jing fell under Wu's control. Due to the treachery of his supposed ally Wu, Guan Yu was slain in battle. And in an instant, the bonds so carefully formed between Xu and Wu through Sun Shangxiang's marriage were torn apart. Without their pillar of strength, Xu lost the will to fight. Their power quickly faded. Wu, having won the land of Jing, was now deeply indebted to Wei. Meanwhile, the tides of change were swelling within the Wei camp as well. Throughout it all, Cao Cao had maintained Wei's dominant position and forged a path toward a new age. Then, six months after the death of Guan Yu, Cao Cao would at last find peace and tranquility, following his long journey of cruelty and ambition. Wu should be placated by the fact that much of Jing province has been returned to them. Once we eliminate Shu, they won't be able to offer any resistance. You need your rest. Just leave it be. Hm. You're right. It is time for my path of conquest to end and for me to meet my destiny. Xiao Dwin. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you. <laughs> what nonsense is this? Dian Wei, I can finally tell you I'm sorry. Xiao Yuan, forgive me.
And so, Cao Cao left this earth. Upon succeeding his father, Cao Pi demanded that the Han Emperor relinquish the throne. And with the Emperor no longer possessing the authority to oppose him, Cao Pi became the Emperor of Wei. After all Cao Cao had done to protect the Han Emperor, his son Cao Pi did away with him in a mere instant. Perhaps this was an effort by the son to finally eclipse the father, or perhaps it was something else. There was not a single soul alive who could know Cao Pi's true intentions. Long live the Emperor! 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 Yi, fine work. I thank you. My lord, you still have much to do in the days to come. Of course. I have to build us all a new land. I am not like my father. The world I create will not be like his. But I will say this. My father laid the foundations, and now I will build upon them. In response, Zhuge Liang advised Liu Bei to stake his own claim on the throne. He reminded Liu Bei that he was an actual descendant of the Han bloodline, that it was his birthright. By doing so, he could label Cao Pi a traitor to the country for having deposed the Han Emperor. However, Liu Bei remained undecided, for he was still haunted by the death of Guan Yu. Yes. We must defeat Wu. But Cao Pi is the true threat! What is the point of attacking Wu? What point? You... How dare you say that? Avenge Guan Yu's death! What other reason do we need? I'm sorry. I bring news! General... General Zhang Fei... He has been killed... by his own men. What? The traitors have taken his head and fled to Wu!